part four. Quick round! What are some of your favorite cookbooks? Uh, you know, I don't really read cookbooks, so um, I don't really have a favorite one. I would say like maybe um, just a really simple baking cookbook, like a Betty Crocker. Uh, what are your favorite? Well, of, course, of course, my cookbook. <laughs> Very nice. That's my favorite cookbook. <laughs> what are your favorite quotes? Um, I don't know. The one that really, really gets me is um, the one from uh, Kennedy. Uh, ask not what you can do for your country, what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. And that that one's pretty good for me. And then I also like a Benjamin Franklin one of like. Um, the two, the two thousand balloons, and with two men each, and how they couldn't cost more than like three ships of the line, but no prince can afford to do, to like protect his castle from them, wow. or his kingdom. It, it's a little long, and a little hard to remember, but I like it. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite dish? Um, I would say that my favorite dish would be like it, it rotates. It rotates. I mean, it's all it's always changing, it's always evolving. Are there any foods that you don't like? Onions and and bread. <laughs> I don't like onions or bread. Did you eat your veggies when you were little? Yes. I like I eat the fruits and then the veggies and then the hot food. And mom's get mad gets mad at me because of that. So I eat like all the fruit first. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite kitchen equipment or gadget? I love tongs because I mean they let you grab hot things and they keep you away from the danger. So to me they're kind of like a safeguard. Do you have a morning or evening routine? If so, what is it? You know, get up, brush teeth, take shower, get dressed. At night, wait for mom to tell me to go to bed, grumble a bit brush teeth, do my face treatment, go to sleep. That sums it up. Tell me something that people might not know about you. Um, that I love to ice skate and I love to surf and I also am trying photography and more than just with the phone with like a real camera. And what are the habits that you believe have contributed to your success at such a young age? I think that one of the things is always staying true to myself and then always producing the best quality stuff that I can, always being the best me and remembering to remain to myself and always be a good person and that, that that's what really matters. And how do you define success? I define success as achieving what you wanted. It's not a matter of winning and losing. It matters if you wanted to win, if you wanted to lose. And what are your plans for the next three years? Oh, uh, well, I have a plan to make more of these. So <laughs> this should be a series. And uh, I hope to get a cooking show one day. And uh, just keep, keep rolling, see what's going to come next. And Logan, where can people find you? Um, I'm on all the social media. I'm all Logan Jr. Chef. And you can check out my cookbook at loganchefnotes.com. That was a top interview. Thank you so much, Logan. Like, I've been so inspired. I learned so much about cooking. You've literally changed the way I see cooking. You're making me want to do more and <laughs> just kick ass in my goals. Thank you so much, Logan. I know the head starters are going to love it. So remember, guys. If you're interested in learning how to cook, then definitely check out Logan's book at loganchefnotes.com. I'll also leave it in the show notes as well. So remember, head starters, you don't have to wait to follow your dreams. You can start now. Hey, head starter, I hope you absorbed a lot from this episode. So remember to subscribe and let's try to get a million likes, a nice realistic goal. If you want to check out the full episode as a podcast, then check out the links below. Bye! No, we're not gonna, we don't have to put that there. <laughs>